when I first heard the title of this film, I thought it was a documentary on the Wallflowers, the rock group. <laughs> it's not. The Perks of Being a Wallflower is based off a very successful novel, which I have not read. I know I haven't read the book. I apologize. I have to view this strictly as a film, not let the book get into my mind. I'm reviewing the film here. It's about a young kid in school. Logan Lerman plays him. He's very obscure. He has no friends. He had not the greatest childhood, and he runs into this group of kids, Emma Watson and Ezra Miller, and we get a lot of adolescent discovery and basically a coming-of-age tale for someone very young and learning what it's like to have friends and live in school and and in this world in general and just experiencing all of that for the first time really. At times this movie reminded me of a John Hughes film. It really captures that childlike innocence. You know you have that part of you that hasn't discovered things yet and it really is captured beautifully in this movie. I was really impressed with this movie and it really affected me emotionally actually because I wasn't popular when I was in school. No one respected me. No one ever picked a fight with me though because I was always really tall. I never really got that popular vibe. And you know what? To be honest, I'm really glad I didn't because I'd probably be a douchebag. Logan Lerman has come a long way since Percy Jackson. He was very good in this movie and Emma Watson was good as well. Ezra Miller was definitely a standout. His performance, you know, it's interesting to see this after you've seen We Need to Talk About Kevin and see how evil and just maniacal he was in that movie. And now we have him here and he's just so, he loves life and he's happy and he's making jokes and stuff and it really gives you a good, well-rounded view of how good of an actor that guy actually is. The movie captures a lot of really beautiful cinematography too. These kids like to go out at night and they like to stand up in cars and go through tunnels and look at cityscapes and everything. But the dialogue was so fresh and funny and different and so strange at times that you're like, why is this working? But it is. The movie was just very pure. And that's the best way I can think to describe this movie is it's a very pure film. It just feels like, yes, this is definitely something that I can see happening to any kid. The movie is very clever also. There are secrets and twists throughout this movie that are very well hidden and that you don't expect and they truly are surprised and it really, really caused for much more of an emotionally resonant feeling because I almost cried. That's impressive because that doesn't happen to me too much. So the heart and core of this movie is Logan Lerman's relationship with Emma Watson. He feels for her, he's really starting to care for her, and he feels like she deserves more love than what she is being given. And Paul Rudd plays a teacher in the movie and he says this great quote, he's like, we accept the love we think we deserve. And that's actually true because in real life you see so many people in relationships and you're like, why are they together? Why are you two together? You should be apart and no. When they get in a relationship, it's like they just accept it. It's like, okay, I'm finally in a relationship. I don't have to worry about being single anymore and I'm just gonna accept whatever I get. But so many people forget that they deserve so much more in life. And that's one of the main themes of this movie and it was beautifully told and I was really impressed with it. The only issues I had with the film are some of the ways the film concluded felt a little sloppy. It felt a little heavy handed, a lot of narration used to explain things. That happens throughout the movie though. It's not a huge problem. The movie looks great, it's acted well, the dialogue is very fresh, it's touching, it has a great sense of innocence and childhood pureness in it. I'm gonna give Perks of Being a Wallflower an A-. minus. I really think it's great. I've seen a lot of really good movies lately and I'm really happy about that. Some great stuff has been coming out at the end of this year. Thanks a lot for watching guys and as always if you like this then you can click right here and get stuckmanized. <laughs>